describe what Sugar Bell was like before training. She was a puppy, very puppy-like. She was very, um, un she was not really undisciplined, but she was not engaged in what we would tell her to do. She was very independent. And before. she also ate tissue? Yes, she would grab uh, anything on the floor. She would grab it and you could not get it from her. She would run from you. It was very frustrating. And if you tried to get it out of her mouth, she would bite you. So that was unnerving. She would also dart out the door. We'd go, I'd take her walking. She'd dart out the door, um, jump on visitors when they came in. So there just several things like that, just uh, that we wanted her to be a little more act more uh, socially acceptable when uh, she saw other people. What's she like since training? She's very much engaged in what we tell her. Um, we were trained as much as Sugar Bell was, and um, now if she um, goes after when we're walking and she sees something, I say, leave it. And most of the time she does leave it. If she does it, I can give her a treat of higher value and she's more engaged in wanting to please me and to get that treat than she is um, in picking that object up. So that works real well with her. Why did you choose a well-trained dog? I did a lot of research. I went online and looked them up and the well-trained dog had more information. It looked more like what we were looking for and I like Beverly's approach with the dog. Sugar Bell immediately took to Beverly, and Beverly is, uh, her training style is, is praise, and uh, she doesn't scold the dog. She's very um, positive very and loving calm. and very calm with the dog, and Sugar Bell just immediately took to that. Anything else? Uh, we just appreciate it. Sugar Bell's a great little dog. We, uh, I was surprised. I knew she was a smart little dog, but I was surprised at how quickly she caught on and just what a great little companion she's become. We're real pleased with it.